just begun We will always take a stand For the people, for the land Let's go back Good morning and welcome to day 14. It's quite late, it's 11 o'clock. We're just heading off to Aquatica today for our last day in Florida before we get on our cruise tomorrow. So this is the last one, we haven't done Aquatica yet, so quite looking forward to a chilled day. The weather is beautiful today, so hopefully it holds out and no storms roll in because like I said, we've left it a little bit late to leave, but we've just been milling around, having a lazy morning, having some breakfast, sitting in the sun, starting to pack up. We're gonna to need to pack up the villa when we get back today. Um, but yeah, we're ready for some fun in the sun now. A day ticket to come here if you haven't got a ticket is 96.99 I feel like I read somewhere that you might get the rest of the year free Check the flight. Yeah. I'm literally one. You're what? I'm 55 centimeters. No, 55 inches. If you were 55 centimeters, Amelia, you'd be about that big. Great day. Look, every mom's everything. Well, the tallest thing here is four. No, 54 inches. Good. So one inch. No, 51. Graham, you can't wear your thong here today. No, I'll just walk around with the thong off then. <laughs> Doesn't say anything about mankinis though. <laughs> So it's 12 o'clock, we've just arrived at Aquatica and I think we're going to get something to eat first just because we're eating later. Okay, change of plan, we're coming to Mango Market because uh, the offerings look a little bit better. Yeah? for a few dishes to share so these are like chicken tenders chicken tenders with melted cheese over the top with some um, fried waffles we have our kids chicken tenders and that adult buffalo no the adults pulled pork burger and then we refilled refilled our um sea world drink these are their private cabanas that you can rent 
I haven't looked into how much they cost, but I think they're like a few hundred dollars. If you're going to go all out, they're right at the front, which unlike Typhoon Lagoon and Volcano Bay, they're all like tucked away in the back and like hidden away. Whereas these are like prime location, which is good for if you have kids. I feel like these are more value for money. And then they have these that you can rent as well. But um, we're not going to do that. We're just going to, I don't know, we can go here. Yeah. Woo, she's a warm one. It's hot today. But perfect day for a water park. <laughs> I like that, how that takes up the... Um, the inflatable family. Right, I think that's a, an inflatable one. It looks really good though, actually. Maybe we'll go on that one first. I don't know where Graham and the kids are. They must be right deep. I can't see them. Oh, there they are, right at the back. Right to the back. There really is nothing better than on a really hot day, just being in water, cools you down, makes it more bearable being outside. It's really quite quiet here compared to Volcano Bay and Disney's Typhoon Lagoon. You can really notice the difference, but it's nicer, there's less people around. Just like this wave pool, for example, it doesn't feel as crowded or as busy. It's nice. We definitely have noticed that the SeaWorld Park um, so SeaWorld and here, Aquatica, are a lot less busy. The, a lot of the rides are walk-ons. Like I said today, there's just less people in the wave pool and just around the park in general, so it's nice. and refilled our drink they don't seem to be charging me um obviously we got this at SeaWorld the other day um and we've just come in and started using it in here it said it was going to be 99 cents per time after our first day but everybody just seems to assume that we brought that refillable mug today i'm guessing because when i get to the checkout they don't seem to be charging me for it so happy days um and then i got two churros and they come with chocolate sauce 
and these were 15.64 together. 6.99 each, I think. Graham's gonna go to the bar, I think, and get a couple of drinks. They've got some nice, like, frozen daiquiris and some beers and some cocktails, so we're probably gonna have one of those each. So Graham just popped to the bar, um, which is near the wave pool, to grab a strawberry daiquiri and a Bud Light, and it came to 20 six yeah. dollars i'll put it on the screen how much it came to i can't remember oh, it's raining <laughs> um we're gonna head out now absolutely wazzing it down but we've had a great day it's four o'clock so we've had a good few hours here but yeah look it's raining and there's lots of cloud around so i think that's good for a day we're gonna head back head back to the villa we've got to pack up anyway ready for the cruise tomorrow and then we'll head out for some dinner later so we've just been chilling at the villa for the last couple of hours. We've also been packing all of our stuff up because we are leaving the villa tomorrow to go on the cruise. And when we get off the cruise on the Monday morning, we won't be going back to any accommodation of any sort because we'll be flying home that night. So we're literally packing everything. <laughs> um, but we're all done with that now, as much as we can be anyway, until the morning. Um, and we've had a family vote about where we'd like to eat again. And we've voted the Outback, which is where we went on our first night. We loved it there so much. So we're gonna go back tonight. It's about half past seven, so we're just heading out now. The weather's a bit rubbish. It's kind of raining a little. Um, it's quite cloudy. There's some blue sky, some cloud. Over here. Much, much better parking. I mean, I'm a little close to this side, but at least I'm straight this time. Yeah. Other than wonky. That's better. Parking take two at the outback. <laughs> Sorry. Amelia's knife and knife and fork in it with the bread. <laughs> what are you doing, weirdo? <laughs> Well, no, you don't usually use a fork, do you? <laughs> yeah. No, no. You use a knife, darling. That's a good idea. Does that do, Dad? That'll do. It's an ice cream. It does. Mm, this bread is really good, isn't it? It's my favorite. It looks like bread. brown bread, but it's it's, just, like, it's sweet. To me, it tastes like cinnamon. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. No, it's not cinnamon. Well, it's not bread. It's just like, yeah, it's not bread, but it's, it's, it's a bit sweet, sweet I yeah. think. Yeah, it's nice. I love it. Oh, it's just melting away on my plate because it's hot. Mmm. Start butter. using it. These fries have arrived. We had these last time. We do love them. They're a family favourite. Yeah, they look a bit smaller today, don't they? Guess it depends who you get in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> do you have those, like, cheese? Do you have those cheese? Oh, they're hot. Mum's gone to them down. So it's probably a little bit embarrassing now, but obviously I've got another French onion soup. <laughs> Just want to make a little note that I don't eat this a lot at home <laughs> so when I come out here it's like I eat it every time yeah but I don't really eat it at home but, I do um, love it though mum got a french onion soup again <laughs> so Amelia went for a little kid's steak it's good, good size for you isn't it yeah Jensen went for a burger with but a Caesar I've got salad, a salad so. Yep. I'm comparing the ribeye to the normal one ribeye. Okay. You've gone for a much smaller steak on this trip, haven't you? That's a 12 ounce. What was it last time? 20? 20. Yeah. I've got 22. Yeah, it took up good. virtually the whole plate last time. <laughs> yeah. And I've gone for a little 6 ounce steak. They and they didn't have any loaded mash, which uh, I wanted, so I've got a baked loaded potato. Oh, I'm defeated. Graham's defeated, although he's done better than I have. Amelia, she is done, but she's picking still. No, okay, she's done. No, I'm not. I never lose. Jensen's mouth. done alright, he's eaten all of us. I'm not done. I'm not done. Okay, are you going to finish that then? Maybe. Maybe not. Would you like a bit of assistance? No. <laughs> 
What did you think of your ribeye? Oh uh, yeah, it was good. Very Compared nice. to the last time? Uh, I mean, it was better than the last time I came here. I think it's just a different cut of meat. But, mm -hmm. I'll say it quietly. He's a Longhorn fan. What about yours? Was yours nice? Yeah? yeah nice. You had a Caesar salad, didn't you? Which was different. Yeah, it was good. I we did ask for, I was hoping for mash to be honest, but they came over and said they'd run out, so we had to choose something different. So I had another baked potato. Very mad fries, yeah. I've had baked potatoes with every other steak. I had fries to go with my fries that I had for starters. <laughs> <laughs> French soup, you haven't said about that, have you? French onion soup was always. Mm. I Yummy. Tried a bit of that. Mm. And you tried some of my salad. Amelia tried some of Jensen's Caesar salad for the first time and it made her eyes water. She really enjoyed that. <laughs> I know. One up and two. Chef kiss. <laughs> More like a Glaswegian kiss. <laughs> so this is tonight's damage. It's 87.55 before we add on a tip. So, so £103.67 including tip. So that makes about $26 each. Where's yours coming from? My bag. She has none. Your bank account. Okay, I'll take two squishies as payment from you. <laughs> no! Two squishmallows. No. Yeah, which ones are the most valuable? <laughs> the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> Don't flutter those eyelashes at me, young lady. It will work one day. <laughs> oh, oh, that is nice. Oh, I feel like we need rolling out of this restaurant. We're actually in and out pretty quick, weren't we? I'd say an hour. I'd actually say most of our meals that we've been having out have been pretty quick. Probably like an hour. Hour on average, I'd say. It's like nine, uh, nine o'clock, yeah. Look at that beautiful parking. We're all home from dinner, aren't we? From our... We're all a bit tired, but the kids are having some gaming time on the laptop and tablet. iPad. Graham's having some vino time. And, <laughs> and I'm having an old lady cup of tea time. And me. Amelia's having a cup of tea as well. But yeah, we've had a great day. It's been, I say jam packed, but we did have like a little lull yeah. this evening, which was nice. But we are looking forward to tomorrow when we go on the cruise, so that would be good. Um, I think we're going to go to IHOP in the morning for breakfast because Jensen's desperate to go to IHOP and we haven't been yet and tomorrow is the last chance. So yeah, our time to get on the ship is 11.30 and it takes like an hour and 15 minutes to get to Port Canaveral. So I think we're aiming to leave here around half eight so we can get to IHOP for breakfast on the way and yeah get on the cruise and um start our little mini cruise thanks very much for watching this one and this is what's coming up on the next one